Hey guys, I'm sure a lot of you out there, teachers are making lots of videos, online tutorials. And so this one is for teachers who are making videos and want a quick and dirty um, set of instructions on how to use iMovie and um, for your tutorials and how to upload them. Enjoy. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a movie on iMovie using videos and photos for all those teachers out there who are trying to make how-to videos. So what I've already done is I've used my camera and uh, to take photos and videos of, let's say, a process, like a step-by-step -step process. So they're all in my, um, all photos here. All the images are here that I need for my video. So make sure you do that first. Um, now I'm gonna click on iMovie and I'm gonna press um, new project and I won't go to trailer, I'll go to movie. And from here is um, you can access your videos and photos that you've taken. So I'm going to choose um, the videos that I need that I've already taken. So there's a ton of videos I've already taken and I'm going to go through and find them in order. So all the videos are here. Um, there's no photos. You can pick photos from a different location. So I'm gonna start with um, my introduction, which would be, I guess, this one. And when I, let me see, okay. So once, when I accept it, I'm gonna press the check button. There, check that. So as you notice that I, they're, the surrounding line around the images, I mean the videos is orange, which means that you've checked it. So these are um, the videos that I want. Now remember to choose them in the order that you want them displayed. One really important thing to remember is when you're videotaping these things, if you make a mistake in any way, erase the mistake right away. So when you have access to all your videos, you will not by mistake choose the one that was an error. So just to keep it nice and simple. So once you've picked the videos that you want, um, let's see, I think there's one more. And this is my goodbye. There you go. That then you once you have all the videos that you want in the order that you want them, you're gonna press create movie, which is down here. And then you're gonna press play and it will take you to the beginning. And I'm gonna turn up the volume. That's my intro. So these all, all the videos next to each other with every video has this um, little section, little space in between, which is the transition. And I'm gonna talk about that later, but each video is um, uploaded in the, in the order that I wanted to show up. All right, great. So here we go. Now, what I like to do in front, the beginning of my videos is put an intro page and I've already created that on a, um, on a different app called Photo Grid on my phone. And what it does is just puts words um, on top of an image. So, and I've uploaded that here. So I'm gonna go to photos and all and find the cover photo that I use for all my videos. And here it is. And you see this little plus sign and boom, it puts it right in front. So now I have the intro pay, the intro image. Um, I don't like this uh, effect of Ken Burns effect. You see when you run the video, it moves the image and it's called Ken Burns effect. If you don't want that, you click on it so that it's yellow and you hear you click it off. And now it's just the image without it moving. And I, I actually prefer that. I mean, you might want it a different way. Now, um, so I have my intro page. I show how we're gonna do these, this project. And then at the end, um, let's see. Ooh, this is actually a different image. All right, never mind. So that's okay. Um, it, this is just for demonstration purposes anyway. But at the end, I also like to add that image. So I will go ahead and uh, get this line to there, go to that same image and press plus and it will plunk it in at the end. 
Now I'm gonna go to uh, doing audio and I'm gonna go to the beginning and I'm gonna go to um, media. Sorry, I'm gonna go here to audio and I like to go to soundtracks and you can download these soundtracks. I always stick with the same one all the time and I pick any things and I press plus. Now what it does is you see this line at the bottom, that is the sound area. So you any so any things is the name of the song, whatever. And I want you to hear what it sounds like. Okay. So as you notice, the vo the music is still going on as I'm speaking. And if you don't want that, you're going to put this where you want it to switch. You're gonna click on the sound part and press actions, which is this little scissor, and then press split. And what it does is it splits the sound into two so that you're easily able to change the volume here. So you press volume. And while I'm, when I start talking, I want the volume of the music to go down. And the volume here, when it starts, I want it to be high. So let's see what that looks like. Go back and so, and it should quiet down the minute I get on. Hey see, there's no music. You, I mean, some people might also want a little bit of music while you're talking and you tap, you just test it. Hey guys, this is Ms. Catellas. Today and there is a little bit of the music. That actually characters. sounds nice, I like it. So then you go to the end and you're going to, there might be a part where you want to show what you're doing, but you don't want the kids to be sitting there um, watching the entire interaction. So here, I'm gonna click on the video section and I'm actually gonna speed it up. And so let's see, speed. And I'm gonna put it really fast and let's try it. And there we go. And you hear my words. So what I'm gonna do is actually go back and um, let's see, for volume, I'm gonna keep this volume the same, but I think there's a way, actions, oh, detach audio. So I'm gonna detach audio for this video because when you speed it up, then I turn into like a, a cartoon, character voice so you want to take that off so you put delete audio so let's try it now and see if it worked hmm. okay i think i need to lower the volume there we go there we go i'm just gonna lower the volume because i don't know maybe i can delete it there we go okay let's try it now okay so now there's no audio for that section. And we actually want that to go faster, so I'm gonna click on, on the actual video and then go to speed. And let's see, oops, speed, I'm sorry. And then there's a picture of a rabbit and on the right side, so you're gonna go a little faster. So let's see what that looks like. See, so the demo part where you're not necessarily talking could be faster. Um, and then at the end of that, you might want to go back to talking. Here they are. I there you go. Three. You might want to have the volume lower, and it actually lowers down Here anyway. Are. I put three separate bodies. The way to control the volume from one section to the next is by clicking on the volume line or the audio line and um, pressing actions and then split and it splits the sound into two separate locations so that way you can control the volume for this side um, here you can have that go back down because you're going to be talking but over here because you're not talking you can turn the volume up and then this is what it looks like okay here they are oh yeah i'm sorry let's try that again so the music ended. Okay, here they are. I cut three separate bodies. Now okay, one. now let's go to the end 
and you're gonna do the same thing to your end title. Um, you see how I have this and this? I broke that up by just putting, um, clicking on the green and pressing action and pressing split. So now I have two separate sounds and that way I can control the volume for each sound. So this one I want it to be low because I'm talking, but this one, because it's my credits at the end, I can click on it and turn it up high. And let's see what that looks like. Which is, um, so of course this is not the real video, but we okay. normally be saying goodbye and then it goes to your video and that's it. Okay, so now how to share it to yourself. So when you're done, you're gonna go up here, press done, and then you're going to give your name, your um, video a title, and I, you know, you could call it whatever. Um, tutorial, and done. And here is the share button, and you can share it with, um, on in YouTube if you have an account. And if you do have an account with YouTube, you're gonna have to sign in. Um, you can share it to yourself on your photo album. So you would press the save video. Um, if you want to share it with a computer or someone else's device, you press AirDrop. So there's different ways to save this file. And of course, it's going to be saved in your, um, under your projects. These are all my other projects, so. Good luck with yours. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope it was easy. Please send me questions if you have any. Um, and good luck with all your videos.